In today's video, let's head into Goodwill in Mankato, Minnesota and Bibles for Missions in Crystal, Minnesota and see what we can find. Here we go. First off, I want to start at the dishes. Dishes are one of my favorite things to look at in the thrift stores. It's not even that I'm necessarily looking to buy any. I just love to look at all the pretty patterns. Here's Courier and Ives. These are pretty popular right now in my corner of YouTube, but I don't really have any use for them, so I'm going to put them back. I'm always keeping an eye out for more glasses for my home, but the $2.99 price tag for each glass is kind of expensive. I have a vintage booth where I do a little bit of reselling and mugs are one thing I like to pick up. I like to find ones with a vintage vibe from the 80s or anything else that seems kind of cool and different. This is a cute little looking stein, I suppose it is. For St. Patrick's Day, this is great. I might bring this home. If you've watched me for any length of time, you know I love restaurant wear. This kind of looks like restaurant wear to me, but I don't see a mark on it. This is exciting. I love these mirrored trays. I use one in my bedroom and I definitely think I might be able to find a use for another or maybe I could sell it at the shop. $1.99, this might come home too. This is really different. It's a china tray, but it's a rectangle. I've never seen anything like this before. No mark on it, except the CF, I don't know what that stands for, but that's super pretty and different. I love this gingham set. This is really pretty. I'm trying to see the price without having to lift the whole thing up. I think that's at $3.99, but it looks like it's missing its creamer. If it had its creamer, I might bring it home. This is a pretty little piece for $2.99. I definitely think the prices are getting better at Goodwill. Have you guys had that happen at your Goodwills? Like, are your prices coming down at all? I don't know that it's across the board, but it definitely seems like I'm seeing some better prices today. Oh, this is cute. Totally looks like At Home America. Yes, it's At Home America. I remember going to these parties back in the 90s and I never could afford anything back then because we had young children and we were just starting our careers. Now I can afford the stuff and they don't have the parties anymore. <laughs> Hey, it's that Tupperware picture. Remember I found one a few months back, but mine doesn't have the button on it. Only $3.99. That's a pretty good price. I don't need another one, but I might be able to resell that at the Pink Elephant. The Pink Elephant is a little vintage shop in a town called Hopkins, Minnesota, and I have a little booth where I resell things. I don't buy a ton for my booth because I don't have a ton of space. And this is just a hobby for me, but I do thrift some items for my booth sometimes.
I'm in the woods aisle and I'm just looking for some things that I can use to finish cross stitch projects. But look at this. It's a give us this day our daily bread plate in wood and it's $3.99. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, my friend Kate and I always look for the metal give us this day our daily bread plate. And the price on the plate is usually correlated with the prices of the thrift shop. So $3.99 seems about right. These butterfly decor pieces are so cute. They'd be so cute in a little girl's room. Definitely something I would have put in my girl, girl's room when they were little. I love this cat planter. Cat things sell really well for me at the Pink Elephant, but at $3.99, that's a little steep compared to what I would want to price it at, so I think I'll leave it behind. I really like these plates. I want this top one to be a barn, but it's a schoolhouse. Come on, let there be a barn in here. Ah. No barn, darn. I think a barn plate would be really cute on my barn wall. This one's close, not quite though. These are almost cute, but they're Raggedy Ann and Andy. Why do they have blonde hair? I don't understand. I like to look in the figurine aisle just to see if I could find any cute like trinket boxes or other tchotchkes to put in my shelves for like five dollars or less. Scanning, scanning, not really seeing much today. I always like to look in the lamps just in case. I don't know, I don't even need a lamp, but I like to look. I think this might be that Arcopole made in France. I don't see a mark on it, but the mark is often really hard to find. It's really pretty though. Okay, now I'm at Bibles for Missions thrift store in Crystal, Minnesota. The name, there's a sign on the door, the name is changing to Legacy Thrift, but I had a really fun time. I got a backstage tour of all the operations here. I was not allowed to film, which is totally fine, but I'm gonna tell you a little more about that when I do my haul. Let's go ahead and see what we can find thrifting. This is the sort of little thing I like to put on my shelves at the Pink Elephant cute little ginger jar for $1.59. I think I might pick this up.
Ooh, look at all this milk glass. I've kind of gotten rid of a lot of mine. This is a really different pattern on this one. I like that. But I had to choose between milk glass and ironstone because I had too much like white pottery. I went with ironstone, but I do still like milk glass. The price on this is really good and it's a really nicely made piece of pottery. Pottery does sell pretty well for me, but I'm not sure about the basket shape because it's usually the youths that buy the pottery and I'm not sure how a basket would go over with them. So I'm feeling torn. I love this pattern. It screams like 1950s, 1960s to me. I see it a lot. These are only 79 cents a piece. That's a great price. Oh, this little cutie caught my eye. This could be good for my spring decor. I really like the flowers on it. I like the color of them. Hmm, 79 cents, not a bad deal. This is kind of interesting. Another piece of pottery. Do you think this was like part of a butter dish set? Is, is it missing its lid or is it just supposed to be like a dish without a lid? What do you think? This is a cute baker, reminds me of the uh, cornflower blue. $1.79, that is a great price. Uh, I don't really have a use for it. Oh darn, there's a chip in it. I always feel drawn to these pie plates because my mom had the apple pie and actually now I still have it. Super cute. Ooh, is this restaurant? <sighs> nope. I always love to scan the furniture. I'm actually looking for a white hutch for my vintage room. Not seeing anything here today, but this table's cool. I'm starting to think about springtime. Here in Minnesota, spring arrives very late. I know people have daffodils and crocuses coming up, but I still have three feet of snow on the ground. But it's nice to look at the flower pots when I come to the thrift store. Do you remember a few weeks back, I was in Freshwater Community Thrift Store out in Waconia, Minnesota, and I saw a set like this, see this bunny thing here? And it had different lids for all the different holidays, but I was like, why did they paint the bottom of it like brown? It was so ugly. This one's super cute with the blue. If this one had all the lids. I might pick it up because then you could switch it out for all the different holidays. It, it's the garden book ah i love this book i think i have two copies of it this one's only three dollars it's a little yellowed on the spine but it kind of adds to its uh vintage goodness hmm this is something i've never seen before a wooden egg crate i love the leather strap on it let's open it up and see what it looks like inside it's got like cardboard that is so cool before we had styrofoam that's what we had if i can't ever find a hutch for the vintage room something like this could work with some shelves hung over it i'd like a place for some more of my collections Ooh, this is a cool bookshelf i love this 
195 is actually not a bad price. I don't have the money for it today, but it's gorgeous. Hello. I hope that was enjoyable. I'm here in my craft room. The lighting is weird, and I think it's because I'm using natural light as well as artificial light. So it's looking a little dark by my eyes, and I can't fix it. So sorry. I'm fine, I'm not especially tired, but the lighting is just weird on my camera. So I want to show you what I got, but first I really quickly wanted to tell you about Bibles for Missions. I mentioned it in the shop along. I got to go for a backstage tour of the thrift shop. So someone who works there reached out to me and she said our like director, no one's really a manager, they explained it, there's just a lot of volunteers and like the head volunteer wanted to have me there and show me the back room and show me how they do everything. So that was super fun. I got to meet all the volunteers. Hello to you all. It was lovely meeting you all. And then Ron is his name, gave me a gift from all of them. And he said, I think he said that his mom used to collect blue and white. So I don't know if these were part of her collection or what, um, but I think they're so gorgeous. I'm definitely going to hang these in my dining room. That's where a lot, most of my blue and white stuff is centered. And then, you know, in my china cabinet in there, I have a few miniatures that are blue and white. And he gave me this one, little dog. And these are all Delft, I believe. Yeah. So that's so cute. And then, did I say dog? It's a dog and a kitty in a teacup. And then this little guy. So cute. I just love them. Thank you so much, Ron. And to everyone there, it was a lovely time. So then, uh, let me clear these away. After I was done getting my tour, I just did a normal thrift with me, and that's what you saw. So I'm going to show you my haul from both Goodwill and from Bibles for Missions, which soon will be known as Legacy Thrift. So I don't know, I forget when that change exactly is coming. It hasn't happened yet, but that is coming. So if you're local, it's going to be the same people running it and the same organization. They're just changing their name because he said sometimes people get confused about um, like, do they sell Bibles? And then he also said it's confusing because that's not like, I guess that started way back when that was their mission was like raising money to buy Bibles to send to different mission fields. I think he said Eastern Europe maybe was one of the first places, but now um, their mission is much wider than that. So it's better to like change the name and better reflect what they're actually doing. So anyway, it's still a favorite and the prices are still great. So if you see a different name, it's the same store, just a different name. So, okay, let's go ahead and get into the haul. Let me put these away so I don't break anything and then I'll get into the haul. Okay, I wanna start with Goodwill. It looks like I only got three things. Hmm. I don't think I'm forgetting anything, but anyway. So I did pick up the mirror tray. I'm trying not to show you and blind you by shining the sun in your faces, but here is the mirrored tray. That's my popcorn ceiling. <laughs> and I think it's gorgeous. I will either find a place to use this or I will put it at the Pink Elephant. It was only $1.99. Mankato Goodwill had fantastic prices the day that I was there. I don't know if it's always like that, if I just happen to be there on a good day, what the case was, but I was really pleased that the prices were what they were. And then I got this, which is gorgeous, and I totally know where I want to use this. This is going to go on my dining table it was $4.99. The mark on it, you heard me say in the video, is CFH. I don't know what that means. I have not looked it up. But I just thought it was so different because it's a, you know, it goes with someone with a china pattern, but it's a rectangle tray. It's just very different. So anyway, I'm going to use this on my dining table. I will insert footage here of how I used it because I knew as soon as I saw it how I wanted to use it. Here is where I put the little tray. Now, if you remember, I bought that a few, I guess like a month or two ago. I think it's perfect on this little tray with my salt and pepper shaker. The reason I wanted to do like, you know, the teapot, I really want the teapot set somewhere with this. So this, I saw something on Instagram that was similar. These are really special though. It's not just teacups and saucers. So this was my mom's pattern. And then this was my pattern. And then I have two 
of my grandma's pattern. I don't have, of the, just the saucers. I don't know, I don't have her teacups anymore. I don't know what happened to them. They got lost in one of our moves, probably when we moved from New Jersey, but somehow I retained those. So I just have this little collection here that's special. And now we can actually use them too. So that's where I put that. Don't mind the mess in the background. This is about the tray. Doesn't it look cute? Nice and simple for spring. This seems to be a trend each week. <laughs> As I'm cleaning up, I find something that I forgot. This was the other Goodwill item. I knew I had something else, but I thought this was really cute. And I'll either put this at the shop. I, I have one similar that I also just got for myself for my own decor. So I think that next year this will probably go to the shop, but I don't know, haven't decided. I just thought it was cute for a buck 99. Okay. I had to take my asthma inhaler. If I sounded short of breath, I've been vacuuming and cleaning all morning. I think something triggered my asthma. Anyway, <laughs> took my inhaler. I should be breathing better now. Uh, real quick, before I get into the rest of my haul, I want to show you my cross stitch journal. Someone asked me to show this and I'm going to do more like cross stitch stuff on my other channel, Nicole North Garden Home and Garden, if you're interested, but I can just show this here. It's easy enough. So this is my little cross stitch journal, which I made while I had co uh, COVID, the virus. Um, it's not clear whether we can say that word or not, but anyway, um, so now this is vellum paper. There's special adhesive you're supposed to use so that you don't get like, so it doesn't look like that when you put it on, but I didn't have any and I don't really care that much. So, and I cross stitched the little thing that says cross stitch. So I thought that was cute. And then you like, um, just take out threads of the cross stitch fabric and that's how you get the fringe. And then I attached the ribbon with, um, a brad. These are called brads. It's mostly like my scrapbooking stuff getting repurposed for junk journaling. So I attached the ribbon with a brad, just put a little leaf over it. I did the same thing on the back so I can tie it closed. And then, so, and I think the person was asking, cause she was thinking, could I, is this something you could make for someone? You totally could like, so you could make it like this, but then the inside pages, I made a little more personalized, but you can make them more general. So the idea here is to just keep track of all my cross stitch projects. And so in here, I just, um, glued, these are from my cross stitch bin. Most of them are like old now. Um, this was the store I loved. My mother-in-law is from Ohio, Kettering, Ohio. And so when we would go visit her family back early in my marriage, we would always go to the Daisy Barrel in Fairborn, I think it was. Yeah. I love that part of Ohio. P.S. It's gorgeous. If you ever have a chance to visit, it's Southern Ohio and it's very lovely. Anyway, um, so that was like my favorite cross-stitch store. It does not exist anymore. And then the others, I'm not sure about. I went to this one, in Michigan once because if there's one on when I'm on a road trip we've done a lot of road trips if there's a cross stitch store sometimes I'll hit it so and then this I got um I went and I have a pattern from Cannon Beach Oregon my brother is from Portland and so that's I was out there visiting him and so we went to Cannon Beach and I went to um, siren song stitchery, which I actually don't know if that exists anymore. Cause that was also a long time ago. Anyway, so that's what those are. And then, so you can see here, I just made it cover like a, a title page in this journal. I'll record my completed cross stitch projects and my whips, my works in progress. And then, so I just started with the things that I currently had. Cause I had right before I got sick, the president's day weekend, I had planned as like a crafting weekend, which I do every year. And this year I wanted to finish some cross stitch projects, which I started to, and then I started to get sick as the day progressed that Sunday. But anyway, um, so I just started with the ones I was finishing then I've done other projects, but those are not in here. This is just like starting present. So the whole key here is that you put like when you started stitching it, I included the chart title, the chart designer, and I have this on each page of every, you know, of every project. I won't go through them all. And the type of fabric, cause there are different fabrics that you can stitch on. What type of floss, that's the thread like what brand my plan you know like what was what was my plan for these so that's what these are and then the rest is just like fun ephemera that I had from my collection on each page I left a blank spot because my plan is to take pictures of my finished objects so once it's an FFO a fully finished object that I can use in my decor or on my tree take a picture of it and print the picture out and put it here so I have a, a memory of all the things I've done this way if you give stuff away you still can remember what you did so, and then I just kind of journaled about like when I was stitching it and blah, blah, blah. So, and I did that for each one and you can see there's a blank spot on each page for, um, 
you know, for a picture. So yeah, so this is the one I didn't get to, I'm about to finish this one. I had posted on Instagram about that. Um, it's a vintage kit, so, and I just finished it and I started a new one. So anyway, that'll be fun to fill that out. But that is my cross stitch journal for anyone who is interested in knowing what I meant. So there you go. So let's move on to the haul from Bibles for Missions. On the cross stitch line, along those same lines, I found, I was super excited about these two floss organizers. They're really heavy duty. I mean, they're plastic, but they're nice and heavy duty. The fact that these are vintage ones make them even cooler. So this is, um, so then what it helps you to do is you can organize your floss. Once you take it off the skein of floss, like then you can, um, you know, keep it from getting knotted. This one is numbered. So I can write down what each color is. I don't know if you can see the numbers are here. So I can write down what each color is so that I don't lose track. So found two of those and they were 79 cents a piece. So that was really great. Already started using one. I'm not going to show you it all individually, but uh, I got a bunch of um, trims and these are also for finishing my cross stitch project. So lots of rickrack. Um, you can see there are lots of different colors and some cute little vintage crocheted trim, which I thought would be cute on project. I thought this would be great on one for the 4th of July. Oh, isn't that adorable? Little red polka dots. So that's what those are all for. And they're gonna go in my big jar. Remember I have my big jar pointing at it um, that I got at a thrift store or at a vintage shop a few weeks ago. I'm gonna keep all my vintage trims in there because they look cute. And then I can also see what I have. So that'll be really good. So that's what that's for. This is for my decor. So I'm actually going to put this in my decor and I will insert some footage of where it went. This was 79 cents and I just thought it was really pretty. And it kind of goes with what I've been doing for spring, which is really like the pinks and greens. So I'll insert that footage here. And here's where I put my little picture. Have some bunnies there for spring. So that was a cute little simple coffee table display. And it goes with other things I have going on in the room, which I'll show in a video on my home and garden channel. Those are our coasters. They are always there. Got a few little things for the shop. I keep um, some spreaders. You know, I love spreaders and I have a ni nice collection, but apparently other people love them too because I sell them pretty regularly and I don't sell them for much, but if I find fun ones, I... Um, take them for the shop at oh this one cracked darn it's cracked I didn't notice that I only paid like a quarter for it so okay I guess it will be for the shop darn well maybe I can create some kind of craft with that because I I don't think I'll use a duck spreader but anyway all right that was a bummer but I do find spreaders for um the shop and the way I sell them I have a little basket with a piece of floral foam and I just stick them in there and then people can grab them. And I have a price tag on the basket, like this much per, you know, per spreader. It's not very much. They can just tell the checkout, like dealer NN. So that's how I do it. Uh, if you have a shop and that's something you want to sell. A few other things for my space at the Pink Elephant. I got this little, I think, is this an egg cup? I don't know. It looked really cute. It's, it's pottery. Someone made it. It says, hmm, hard to read. Uh, something 08. And I can't write, read the name, but pretty sure it's a little um, egg cup. You can tell me if you think it's something else. And then I got this because this stuff sells pretty well. I'm going to put this in with the miniatures that I have. It's a little uh, made in Mexico vase. I thought that was so cute and tiny. There's the light. That was cute. And then I did get the ginger jar. These, I I sell a lot of little things like this. These are like my $5 items and... They sell like hotcakes. I'm, I'm always filling my shelves with them because that's that's mostly what I sell. I am not a big like expensive antique dealer, which that's just not my audience. You know, that's not my uh, market. Also, I did pick up this book. It is Better Homes and Gardens New Garden Book. I think I'm going to use this as part of a giveaway because I'm about to hit my four year anniversary. I don't need another one. I have two and I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit. It got discolored in someone's home, but it's still great. I mean, look at that cover. It's terrific. These can be really expensive if you try to buy one at a vintage shop. I mean, it's 
really silly the price on them right now look at the back cover is gorgeous but i so i think i'm going to use this as part of a give, giveaway i'm putting together i'm trying to figure out a few other things to include so listen for details on that in the coming probably the next two weeks because i think my anniversary is it might be this week i don't remember the exact date of a very cringy uh <laughs> goodwill five dollar goodwill challenge video that i put up so awful to watch it it's still up you can watch it and it's really not good but that's okay I've gotten much more comfortable on the camera but anyway so that will be coming that's what that is going to be for and then I got this for Betty this is Betty for anyone who's not familiar oh, she's turned. that's Betty that is my um, dress form and I put different aprons on her and I thought this one would be so cute for like pre before um either well either before or after patriotic Oh, it's so pretty with all the summer fruits. I just love it. It's a little faded, but I don't care. You can't tell. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And it's different because it's black. Like you just don't see a lot of black aprons. So I thought that was really pretty. That is for Betty. Uh, you'll see that on her sometime in the summer. Also got, I forgot, I got this for the shop. I thought this was really cute. It says 35 is when you finally get your head together and your body starts falling apart. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> So I thought that would be funny, a funny gift that someone might want to buy for someone. And then they put other stuff in here when they packed me up. So I thought that was really cute. And then I also bought, I think it was six, eight, I forget, um, more hankies. And I am going to do a project. You guys have been asking how I display hankies. I will show you. It's a thrift flip I'm going to do. I'm going to do a thrift flip video on this channel because um, I have a DIY channel, but honestly, I don't want to start it up again. I just don't have time to do enough to maintain a solely crafting channel. But I thought when I have a few thrift flips, because I do still do them, I just don't put them on my channel. Um, I'll put them here and then that'll be fun. And then you can see some some of the things that I get and how I repurpose them. So, um, But anyway, so I got a bunch of hankies. Uh, that would be so cute in my decor for the 4th of July or, you know, for patriotic. Look, this is great with my spring colors. I'm going to probably just tuck this into something, you know, um, not this because I'm going to block the flowers, but you get the idea. That's how I would use that. And then I got this one, super pretty with the little crocheted edge. And this one. And then this one, which I thought was so delicate. Look at this. Um, I don't know what kind of stitching that is, but that's something there, right? Anybody know what that's called? Can you see it? There you go. So I thought that was really pretty. It's done in each corner. So I thought that was very delicate. And then I also got, is this the last thing? I think this might be the last thing. I got this uh, pattern kit. It's, um, it's a wool uh, like embroidery kit and you need um, fusible web Fuse, wow oh, you need fusible webbing it, it's missing that but I have some so I thought that would be really cute to work on um just as another little project to do so well, something different than cross stitch so anyway okay so that's all that I have for you I hope this was enjoyable I hope that you have a great week I'm gonna put this up on Sunday I believe I think or Monday so whatever day it is I hope you're having a great start to your week and thank you so much for watching, for being here with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.